Fear is a tremendous obstacle to healing from trauma. It makes people feel helpless, out of control. Often it makes them lash out in violence, which breeds still more fear in others. Children are especially susceptible to fear, since they don't fully understand what is going on around them. This boarding school in Aceh, Indonesia, called Sukma School, was built after the tsunami to provide a safe place for children who lost family members or homes, either to the tsunami or to a civil war that tore Aceh apart for nearly 30 years. My experience was when my father was shot. It was one evening before Ramadan. All of a sudden, there were three soldiers at the door. The men asked, where's your dad? My sister didn't answer. My mother came and said, he's not at home. The soldiers didn't come in, but we knew our house was surrounded. They told us all to come out of the house. My father didn't want to come out, so he turned off the light. The rest of us went outside and stood by the fence. Then, after the lights were out, my father began to run away. He got about 30 meters, then they shot him. They shot him in the side and the leg. More than 10 times as many people died in the tsunami as in the war. Still, some experts observe, because of fear and hate, the wounds of the war are much harder to heal. Well, after the tsunami, feeling of surrender. God has done this to us. But of the conflict, you know, this has left feeling of revenge after that. Because I know who burned my house, who killed my brother, who killed my father, you know, who tortured me and this and so on. This is why, so this is. So after the conflict, the feeling of revenge is very huge very uh, emotional. So that's why uh, when we are trying to heal because of the tsunami, sometimes it is much more easier to handle it. Complex trauma can appear when people suffer again and again. This is what happened to people here in Aceh. They suffered trauma from the tsunami, but also from violence and conflict. That can result in a whole constellation of trauma. It can affect their whole personality. They may become easily insulted and angry. If they don't get help, this can lead to more problems. They are terrified when they feel a little earth tremor. When you compare this to me, who came here just recently, when I feel a tremor, I might say, huh, what is it? But they go into a panic. That's because of their trauma from the earthquake. It's similar with trauma from violence. They have a tendency to react to situations with violence. The healing process begins when people feel secure. It's impossible for healing to take place when people are still insecure or afraid. When people join in a community, when they're comfortable with each other, then they start to feel secure. And they have to feel comfortable with us. How can we make them comfortable here? How can we build their trust? So the most important thing is to build, the, uh, to build their trust to us. If I stay in the village, I won't be able to reach my dreams because we don't have any money. I told my mother I want to be a teacher to make her happy. To do that, I have to go to school. My mother tells me to study hard and be patient. She says I'd have it harder in the village. She says don't be lazy and always remember to say your prayers. Your husband was shot, right? What for? I don't know, they never told me. They just said get out, then they shot him. What happened then? 
dapat dapat. They said, mati, mati, we got him, we got him, he's dead. Dapat, dapat, mati, mati, I was crying. Dapat, My children said, mommy, daddy's dead. If you couldn't be a teacher, what would you do? Join the rebel army. <laughs> Why? Just because. There has to be some reason you would want to do that. For revenge. Are you sure you really mean that? They killed my father. 